Uh, they're they're going to ask me questions too, like we asked questions in Mia, but uh, I didn't trust them to write good questions for me, so I wrote questions for me, and I'm they're going to say, but they're going to say them. So, so why don't you guys say those? Okay, um, it's the first time I've seen that. Oh, for fuck's sake! What? <clears throat> okay, question number one. Questions. Where are you from? God, I love this question. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, you guys. Um, I love my hometown. Uh, we have, like, the economy has done really well um, throughout the recession, and, like, it's just, it's just, it's the coolest place. Like, we have, we have great food, and we have a rich history, and it's just, it's kind of like, it's not on people's radar, okay, okay, but... Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Still. Thanks. Okay. Next question. Do I really have time to ask this? Yes. It's the, it's the question I gave you, so... I, I, we know the answer. It, all right, it, is there a baseball team there? Yeah, there's a baseball team in Pittsburgh. It's called the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, they just, the season just started, and uh, we're also excited. They just signed Andrew McCutcheon, the center fielder, to, uh, to a long-term deal. They really shelled out good money. Um, I'm actually wearing a T-shirt for the Pirates here. It says, I'm all in. Uh, that's something that the manager of the Pirates, Clint Hurdle, talked about. Um, and it's, it's such a great team, and I just I could talk to you guys about it all night. Um, I they, the shortstop is Clint yeah, Barmus. We, he's a, we don't have all night, so uh, let's move on. Uh, what's going on right now in A Son of Ice and Fire, Book Three, A Storm of Sports? Yes. Oh, on? great question. I'm like please, I'm like twenty percent. Please, please, no, please note that people are covering their ears because they're oh. they're, they're watching the show. <laughs> all right, fine. Just ask the fucking next question. <laughs> Fine. You probably would have worked Pittsburgh somewhere into that. Um, well, there is, yeah, it's similar to Winterfell because there's like a strong history, but. Um, what, what do you think of Obama's performance as President of the United States? Do not ask me any more stupid questions. Okay, next uh, question. Next, uh. Oh, what's your favorite genre of music? My favorite genre of music is. That's a rap. That's a rap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. I actually have, we have a podcast, me and Paul Creasy, um, devoted to rap music. So that's my favorite genre of music. I just want to let you guys know it's, it's, ma uh, sorry, uh, that's a rap cast, uh, dot blogspot dot com. Oh, thank you for you plugging. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no. Can I do a plug? What's no, the big... it's not for plugs. It's, we talked about that. Thank you. Well, I know that you guys really want to be in the podcast, but it's kind of just between me and Paul. So I thought that I could just plug it. It's not... Do you have stand-up? Uh, what about... Okay, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, are you, what are you afraid of? I'll tell you guys what I'm afraid of. So we wanted to ask everyone what they're afraid of. For, for me, what I'm afraid of is the fact that I'm afraid of fear itself. So like when I, when, when I heard that JFK had said that famous quote, uh, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself, like I got really fucking scared. Like when I heard that, like at how meta that is. Um, so that's that's what I'm scared of. I don't know. And what makes you angry? What makes me angry? I'll tell you what makes me angry. It makes me angry when things are slow. You guys, you know what I mean? Like when your computer's slow. We've all been there. When like the internet's slow. When your students are slow. Durr. You know when 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 the progress towards democracy and um, and freedom in the Middle East is slow. Durr. Um, no. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it. Okay. If okay, you that's, may do some stand-up. I'm going to do stand-up now, guys. Um, yeah, that I'm getting heckled by a blender. This happens hey. every time. Hey, what we don't fuck? go to your place of work and slap the oranges out of your mouth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Too bashful to thank you. Okay, guys. My name is Calvin Pollock. I am 22 and a half Jew. Israel is fighting to get today against the Hamas terrorist organization. I'm very, you guys. I'm very uncoordinated. Um, physically uncoordinated. I always have been. This has always been a problem for me. Uh, I learned to tie my shoes later than the other kids. I can't really dance. I can't swim. 
I'm about as useful in a survival situation uh, as a picture of a loved one. Like, I might give you strength at the time, but, but I won't save your life. I'll actually just make it sadder as you die. I have nothing to hide. I have done nothing wrong. Um, I, guys, I, I can, you might have noticed that I kind of hunch a little bit. I don't stand up straight. People always point this out. I'm kind of like the hunchback of Notre Dame with a less cool living space. I have nothing to hide. I have done nothing wrong. Um, something that some of you might have noticed about being a foreigner in Beijing is that you, you kind of, it, it can be draining because you're viewed as an oddity. Like you're viewed as people kind of stare at you and sometimes that can get frustrating. But I realized that the reason that I'm viewed as an oddity is because they're just viewing me. I am an oddity. Like, I look weird. I have nothing to hide. I have done nothing wrong. Um, you guys, I scream in my sleep. I, sc I scream in my sleep, and this is a big problem. It's, this is a condition that has worsened in recent weeks. I have nothing to hide. I have done nothing wrong. Um, the other night, I screamed so loudly in my sleep that the next morning, I, when I woke up that whole day, I was just silent the whole time because I had to like balance, keep some modicum of balance in the universe, you know? I have nothing to hide. I have done nothing wrong. You guys, I think that uh, I am kind of like an existence sandwich. Um, like the top slice of bread is nothingness. And then there's my life uh, and, and me. And then there's more nothingness is the bottom slice of bread. Um, you guys, uh, I am, I am unemployed. I'm currently unemployed. Uh, I used to do some work, uh, in the 90s. Oh, you want to be a motherfucking funny guy? Um, I, I was at work the other day. I was at work the other day in my office. And I, my boss is a real goofball. He, uh... <laughs> He sent out an email, he said, guys, Friday is going to be casual Friday, but he spelled it wrong. He wrote causal Friday. <laughs> so I came in dressed as, as Sir Isaac Newton. Oh, you want to be a motherfucking funny guy? Um, guys, I'm, I'm just, I, you know, do we have any fans of the Hunger Games here? Any fans of the Hunger Games? I don't care. I don't care. For me... For me, the Hunger Games is what I do is I smoke a lot of pot, and then, and then I see how many quesadillas it takes for me to eat before I get sick. Um, and it, it's 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 no matter who wins this game, I always lose because I'm sick. I like to smoke pot, though. I mentioned that. And what happens is sometimes when you smoke pot, you see things that aren't there. Uh, what happened was in, in college, in college, my friend, Sam, he, he was in my dorm room and he thought that he saw a toaster in the dorm room. Like he hallucinated a toaster. He was like, dude, I, there's a toaster right there. And I was like, you're not hallucinating. That's my toaster in my room. And... And, and so then he was like, so he was like, oh, okay, that's, that's his toaster, that's okay. But then what I did is I walked over to the toaster, and I took two slices of bread, and I put them in. And I turned it on, and I said, thanks, toaster. And my toaster said, you're welcome, Calvin. <laughs> and, then, and then my friend went home really paranoid. Um, you guys, do you guys remember way back in the day when you were a little kid, and like... You used to do really fun stuff. You know, like you would take your backpack off and put it on like your front and you would pretend that you have like a sumo, like a sumo wrestler stomach and you would like do like sumo wrestling together as kids, you know. Uh, and that was so fun. That was a couple years before 9-11, so we had a lot more fun back then. Her private sexual life. Um, you guys, I recently had to stop. I recently had to stop going to funerals because I was depressed all the time. <laughs> I, I wanted to let you guys know another thing, more things. 
One is that George Washington Carver is a famous man from America, and he's well known as being the guy who invented the peanut. Okay, the guy who invented the peanut. I wanted to let you guys know that God is fucking furious. God actually said that George Washington Carver is like the Carlos Mencia of legumes. Um, what else? I, you know, I was at a bar recently. I was drunk. I was drunk. And I was talking to this girl. I was trying to, ta I was trying to talk to this girl, and I kind of... I kind of blew it. I was so drunk that I, I was trying to get to know her, and I said, I said, uh, when did you grow up? I have nothing to hide. I have done nothing wrong. I said, when did you grow up? Um, and then I think that's why I don't have, I, I think that's probably why I have never had sex um, without disappointing someone. Her private sexual life. Uh, I, I just... No, that's not actually, that's not true. What I just said is not true because I usually meet my own expectations when I have sex with myself. For a private sexual life. Um, I, I like sex. I think that food, sometimes when, you're, when, sometimes when you're eating really delicious food, do you guys ever feel like the food is like, it's like having sex with your mouth almost? Like it's so delicious, it's like mouth sex. And then sometimes when I feel like that, then like I suddenly realized that no, I'm not, I'm not having, uh, sorry. I, I realized that I'm not eating food, I'm actually engaged in the act of oral sex. Um, and then I realized the power of metaphor for structuring human understanding. Um, guys, oh here's a really, here's a really like dirty joke. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of shitty, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Uh, did you guys know that um, they, they were considering uh, naming the American R&B group Boys to Men? They were going to change the two to an eight, but our culture is too heteronormative to do that. So For private sexual life. Um, guys, I think that sounds are funny. Like, like if, you, if, you ch change a, uh, if you change a s to a th in a word... It makes it sound really fucking stupid and funny. So like, if you say, hey guys, uh, the other night I was, I was on Facebook. Facebook. It sounds like you were on like a Christian social networking site. So it sounds stupid. <laughs> it sounds stupid. Uh, I used to be a member, when I was in high school, I used to be a member of the Young Anarchists Club. The Young Anarchists Club. And uh, I realized that it was like a great group, uh, but the group ideology was such that we couldn't have a hierarchy. There couldn't be a leader or anything like that. So nothing ever got accomplished. Um, the group like made a lot more sense uh, in, in theory than in practice. Um, you guys, I, I, I've said some things here tonight that I think are a little bit maybe misogynist, um, but I just want to make it clear that I, I have never objectified any other woman than Ayn Rand. <laughs> okay, guys, now here's what I want to try to do. So I didn't get to incorporate all my samples so far, so I want to just play you some of the other ones just so you can enjoy them. Um, Japanese real estate agents from apartments. Sorry, Japanese real estate it's too, it's too high. Japanese real estate agents from apartments for Craig Sun. Thank you. He gets the title shot outdoors on the ballpark, and who do I get? I could have taken Wilson apart. Hey, Calvin. What? <laughs> what the fuck is this? I think you should stop. What? Get the fuck... I think you should stop. Dude, like, okay, I'm, all I'm trying to do here is use my sampler. I want to play the people some more of these cool sounds that I have here. And, I mean... I think you should stop. Okay, I get it. I get that you're not going to let me do my thing. So if I could just... Hey, Calvin. Okay, we established that. We established that. I think you should stop. Okay, I get it. Um, He's too bashful to thank you. That's not true. I was about to thank them to thank and get off stage. 
I was about to thank them and get off stage. He's too bashful to thank you. Okay, if you want to just say that, that's cool. So, thank you. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs>